Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about something very interesting. We are gonna be talking about this guy right here, Rich Gaspari, more specifically his style of training these days. I think it is pretty safe to say that Rich Gaspari wins the award for the worst training form on the internet today amongst all known bodybuilders or fitness influencers. He has been posting a lot of training videos lately and literally every time he posts something it looks like this. Check out his form on this cable bicep curls. This is not a one-off, I'm gonna show you the other exercises, the other body parts and you'll see how he's training, but it's literally every time like this, horrible form with the weight that is way too heavy. Before we get into it, I know this is a bodybuilding channel and most of you guys know exactly who Rich Gaspari is, but maybe there are some new fans of the sport and so for those of you who might not know, Rich Gaspari was one of the best bodybuilders back in the day during the 80s, actually in 1986, 87 and 88 he placed second at the Mr. Olympia right behind Lee Haney who won 8 Mr. Olympias in a row and also Rich Gaspari is known for being the first bodybuilder to show straighted glutes. So in a way he kind of started the revolution in the sport. It would have happened at some point anyways but he was the first to do this. Anyways overall a phenomenal bodybuilder with great achievements and I think he trained the same way always but back when he was younger when his body was fresh and with his phenomenal insane genetics it didn't matter that much how he was training as long as he didn't injure himself it worked you know he got huge he got shredded and jacked and again he plays second at the Mr. Olympia three times but what is he getting from this style of training these days I would bet and I would say not much so we're starting with this set of cable curls right here as you can see the weight is way too heavy he's using way too much momentum he is not controlling the reps he's snapping the weight the tension of the muscle is definitely not there and he's definitely risking an injury doing curls this way after seeing this what do you imagine his leg training is looking like yeah it's it's bad it's not good it's probably exactly the way you imagined it way too heavy he has two spotters actually two helpers they're not just spotting him they're pushing the weight for him and he's doing well i wouldn't say half reps but like quarter reps probably he's barely even bending the knees a little bit he's moving the platform like maybe two inches tops not more than that and you might be thinking maybe this is his last exercise he already did his squats properly or his lunges or whatever no this is the way he's doing the squats pendulum squats i don't know i just don't i can't imagine him training this way back in the day and developing the the, the kind of physique that he used to have i mean he starts going down with the weight and immediately at the point where he starts to feel some kind of tension he goes back right back and he rests for a few seconds and then he goes back he feels the tension a little bit and he goes back so basically the tension here is for like a millisecond and you know it's barely even a tension because he's not <laughs> definitely stretching that muscle he's not going deep enough he's only putting a lot of strain on his knees and at the age of 60 this is definitely not the smartest way to do he's training with a lot of ego trying to lift as much weight as possible with this horrible horrible form in case you're thinking well maybe that was only the case with those two exercises no no guys it's always the same check out these hack squats the same story like before way too heavy <laughs> this is definitely way too heavy this is actually really heavy weight and he's working with us i don't even know how this guy is able to walk at the age of 60 if he's training like this regularly but yeah i mean I, I wouldn't say it's working for him because maybe he's healthy he's able to walk and stuff like that but is his physique looking impressive for the age of 60 no no i mean yeah he's 60 but check out the other guys like milo Sharcho, like dennis james i'd even say dorian yates there are bodybuilders who are looking pretty good at the age of 60 and rich is obviously trying very hard he's still training very very hard but he's just doing it the wrong way if he trained properly 
I'm sure his physique would look much better than it does right now. And I mean, check out this shoulder press. What is he doing? What is this? I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, it feels like he's doing this for the clout, you know, to cause reaction. And he's definitely causing a lot of reaction. As you can see, I'm filming a video about this. And you can check out the comments. Everybody is saying the same thing pretty much. All the years of experience and not a full rep in sight. What a waste of a set. Dude, grow up, you're like 80. Do a full rep, your legs aren't growing anymore anyway. Full range of motion. I love your reach, but why so heavy on the set? And there is a million comments on every post he makes and everybody's talking about this. He is, however, ignoring everybody and just keeps doing this. What is this? I don't even know, but he keeps doing it. If he's doing this intentionally for the reaction, then good job, he's definitely succeeding in that. But he's probably just destroying his body, not even getting a proper stimulants in. And all he's getting out of this is reactions from people. And do I think he's doing that for that reason? Absolutely not. This is the way he believes, is the best way to train, and that's why he's doing it. Way too heavy, with too much momentum, minimum stress on the muscle, but you know, it looks cool. And here is Ronnie Coleman in the background, <laughs> who is probably a little bit worse. I mean, these guys are legends of bodybuilding, and they develop their physiques training the way they trained, but at this point, it's not really doing too much. They are genetic freaks, and whatever they did back in the day, it worked. It would have worked whichever way they did it. But at this age, genetics don't really matter that much. I think we can all agree that Rich would have more benefits if he trained properly, but he probably doesn't even know how to do things differently, and he's probably enjoying training this way, and he doesn't care too much about uh, whether he's accomplishing anything, I mean, anything positive. He likes to train this way, and, you know, he keeps doing it. I don't think he's ever gonna change his style of training. If he didn't change it at the age of 60, I don't think he will at the age of 70 or something like that. But hey, maybe at some point he changes something, he reads a comment and he thinks about what he's doing wrong and he decides to uh, change things up. Yeah, not likely. Uh, here is a video of him doing shrugs, behind the back shrugs uh, on a smith machine. Again, like, uh, he's definitely not uh, controlling the weight, uh, the tension is on the muscle very shortly. Yeah, it's very heavy. Is he stimulating the muscle? I mean, is he even trying to stimulate? Can he even... Does it even matter if he stimulates the muscle? He's not gonna grow. At this point, it's all about, you know, being active in the gym and maintaining the muscle and staying healthy. And I don't know what the hell is he trying to do here, but I think he's just enjoying uh, this training style, and, and that's about it. Next, we got front shoulder raise. This is one of my favorites. So, yeah, definitely not using a lot of front delt. A lot of momentum, that's for sure. He's kind of training like a weightlifter. He's getting the weight from A to B, but is he really using the muscle that he's trying to use? Not likely. Check out this rear delt flex. Oh, actually, sorry, is this a tricep extension? No, well, wait, I guess it's both, kind of. I don't think that was his intention, I think he's trying to train his rear delts, but that was definitely a lot of tricep work as well. Here he is actually trying to train the triceps, but again, like he, he's snapping the weight, and this is definitely way too heavy for him. If he controlled it from top to bottom, it would definitely be much less weight, probably half of this weight, and he would activate the triceps probably even more. And his elbows would probably be tanking him. Now, as far as the T-bar rows, I thought Hari Chopin wins the award for the worst form on the T-bar rows, but now I don't know. I don't know. This is five plates, guys. This guy is lifting five plates. That's very impressive. That's definitely very impressive. At his age, with the muscle that he has, this is very strong. So, if that's the goal, just to lift as heavy as possible with the worst form possible, then yeah, he's achieving that. But I still think this is a little bit better form than Hari Chopin. And this one is also one of my favorites, uh, lat pull down reverse grip. He is definitely using his hamstrings and his lower back way too much, leaning backwards way too much, too much momentum, way too heavy weight. Overall, I'm just really surprised that a bodybuilding legend, one of the best bodybuilders basically of all time, of his era, is training like this, with horrible, horrible, worst form, literally the worst form online today. 
And like I said, it worked for him back in the day, but what is he really accomplishing now? He is not gonna grow any new muscle, and I think he would probably maintain more muscle if he actually activated it properly, and this way, at some point, he's probably gonna injure himself. I, I'm really amazed how he didn't completely ruin his body at this point already, but I don't think he's gonna be able to go like this forever. And I'm really curious to hear what do you guys think about this style of training and what he's doing. Whatever your thoughts are, guys, please comment down below and tell us what you think. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.